Today we're going to begin our weather unit, and we're going to start by actually talking about what weather is. When we talk about this concept of weather, we're basically talking about conditions in the atmosphere at a particular time and a particular place. There's also climate, which is this idea of long-term patterns of weather, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later in the unit. But if we say, what's the weather today? All we want to know is what's happening outside at a certain place. Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Our weather on Earth is affected by a variety of factors that we'll be talking about in detail throughout this unit. But the major things that really affect our weather patterns that we have include things like temperature, air pressure, and humidity, as well as the general climate of the area that we're looking at. When we measure weather, there's all different factors that we can measure, and there's a variety of different tools that we can use to measure and record weather in our area. The first thing that we can measure is temperature, and that's one that everybody's probably very familiar with, just looking at the thermometer to see what the temperature is outside. And we measure the temperature in degrees. Um, in America, we use the Fahrenheit scale. Most countries use the Celsius scale. But the device that we use for that is a thermometer. There are digital thermometers, and then there's the old ones with the uh, mercury or alcohol in them, where it just rises and expands upward as the temperature increases. A second factor of weather that we can look at is air pressure. And air pressure is simply a measurement of how tightly packed together the air molecules are. When air gets warmer, just like most substances, the molecules tend to spread out. When it gets cooler, they press together. And that can be a good predictor of what sort of weather we might have on a given day. A barometer is the device that we actually use to do our air pressure measurements. Humidity measures the amount of moisture in the air. It's kind of that feeling of how wet or dry the air is. Sometimes you go outside and people will say it's very humid, meaning the air feels very wet against your skin. And then other days it might feel very dry outside. That's just the amount of water vapor that's actually in the air along with the air molecules that are always there. And there's a device called a hygrometer that can actually measure the percentage of humidity in our air at a given time. Wind speed's a good predictor of how air might change in the area, or how weather might change, rather, because if air is moving, it's maybe bringing in clouds, maybe bringing in sunny weather. But we can measure the wind based on how fast it's blowing, and that's done with what's called an anemometer. Basically, it's some cups that will spin around as the wind blows through them, and you can see by how fast they're spinning, you can actually determine how fast the wind is actually blowing at your location. Precipitation describes things like rainfall, snowfall, any type of water that's falling from the sky like we talked about when we studied the water cycle. And we can measure that with a rain gauge. It just collects the rain and we're able to see how much we actually receive. Wind direction is the last important factor that we can study when we study weather. And wind direction is important to us because it actually lets us know where the wind's coming from, which way it's blowing. And that way we can look at other areas to see if their weather is moving towards us, what we might can expect. So over the next few lessons, we'll actually be looking at how we use these factors to really describe the weather and make predictions about what the weather might be in days and months to come. But this is just kind of our introduction, some of the tools, some of the characteristics of weather that will be important to us in this unit.